hello guys welcome back to part two and today we are making a vest and here i have my pieces i have four pieces uh for the vest so i'm just starting by pinning together all the pieces so that it's easy for me to stitch and also easy to know where which piece goes so now i'm just pinning together the front and the side front and after that i'm gonna go ahead and pin the back pieces so and for the back it's also four pieces so there's two middle back pieces and two side back pieces and when i'm done pinning everything together i go to my machine and stitch everything together And now I am repeating uh, the whole process with my lining fabric and for the lining I used poplin because it's very lightweight and it's breathable and I'm just repeating the whole process from cutting all the pieces to pinning them together to stitching exactly what I did on the shell fabric. And after cutting, I went ahead and stitched everything together, same as the shell fabric. And now I'm just pressing all the seams open. I also like to use my uh, Taylor's hem. It's literally the best thing ever. It works perfectly on uh, calves as well as duds and like collars and stuff. Like it's literally the best invention ever. I use it all the time and it was so cheap. 
I got mine from, I think from Stitch and Go, but it was really, really affordable. I use this all the time. So if you work with like corsets and gowns and shirts and stuff, you definitely need to get one of these really really good item and i'm doing this ironing on both the shell fabric and as well as the lining fabric And here I have my two front pieces. I've already traced my pockets with the chalk. And these are the pieces that I'm going to use for my pockets. These are four pockets. They're not real pockets. It's just for the look. Um, so I did, I don't remember the exact measurements, but I think the width was two inches and I just don't remember, I think about four inches uh, long. So I cut out the same, making sure they are lined properly. And one of them, I did interface it. And I actually made a mistake here. My pockets were upside down. Like enough, I realized that I made a mistake before I cut out the main piece, but just double check before cutting because here my pocket was um, upside down. Like I said, these are fake pockets, so it's... There isn't really much to explain it's just you just to put the two pieces together cut the middle tuck them in and then voila you have a pocket um but yeah so for the back pieces i went ahead and cut out these two pieces one of them was eight inches and i think one was six inches and the width was two inches and i had these one inch d rings I forgot to put them on when I was stitching, but these are like the nice little detail. It also helps cinch the bag. Um, yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that was it. Um, I just I thought I should add that, which turned out great. And now I am going to join together the uh, front and the back pieces with right side facing. And I did the same with the lining as well. So first I'm just going to go ahead and join the shoulders, um, stitch them, press them. And then I went ahead and pinned together the shell fabric and the lining fabric from on the, the whole opening, the neckline and the front. I left the back and the side. I will do that after. And I just went ahead and stitched everything together. And after stitching everything together, I also did an under stitch all the way around so that everything can stay clean and the lining uh, fabric doesn't show on the outside.
and now i went ahead and pinned together the armholes i'm gonna do the same and then after stitching them together i went ahead and closed the sides so i'm joining the lining with the lining and the main fabric with the main fabric and i just went ahead and stitched everything around and when i was done i went ahead and pressed everything flat like all the seams open and flat And the last thing left was to close the bottom which i went ahead and close it and just finish the little last piece on the bottom with uh, my hand needle and for the final part is to hand stitch on my buttons and create my button holes with my domestic machine and my vest was done so here is the final look again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys on my next one bye